So I think that uh, pretty much uh, describes uh, the real exponential. So now let's get to the uh, kind of goofy one. It's actually extremely useful, but it may take a minute for you to figure out why it, why anyone would ever want to do this. Okay, so um, we're going to introduce the idea of a complex exponential. You're saying, well, that's not so bad. Um, the only thing we've done here is we've taken a, which was in our real exponential, and we've replaced it by j omega 0. Now, j is equal to the square root of minus 1. Those of you that have not uh, been in engineering before would probably call this i. But this is how you tell the difference between a mathematician and an engineer. Mathematicians call this i. Engineers call this j. The reason is that i has already been taken for current. So uh, from now on, whenever you see a j, at least in a signals and systems class, you're pretty sure that it's going to be the square root of negative 1. Okay. So what I have then is this little bit here, uh, it's an imaginary number as opposed to a real number, and it actually changes the way that the exponential looks. Um, it turns out that this e to the j omega 0 is a complex function whose real part is cosine omega 0 t and whose imaginary part is sine, or j sine omega 0 t. Okay, so this is the part that may be a little mind-boggling at first. So this is the real part. This is the imaginary part. And um, Basically, this is Euler's formula. Uh, it's one of the, uh, or it's a particular instance of Euler's formula. It's one of the more uh, amazing accomplishments in mathematics. So it turns out that I can graph, um, if I want to, the real part of this function, and it looks like a cosine. So that's the real part. I can graph the imaginary part of this function, and it looks like a sine. Okay. Um, we will use complex exponentials in uh, Laplace transforms. We'll use them in Fourier transforms. Uh, it turns out that they're just absolutely amazingly wonderful. Uh, they make life really easy. Um, once you get your head around the idea that there can be a function that has a real and an imaginary part. So uh, this concludes the uh, video on sinusoids and exponentials.